Hey cross ropers, welcome back to the channel. Today's video I want to discuss three reasons why you should be doing side swings. Side swings will look like this as you're jumping. You can go from one side to another or single side here. Now when I get a lot of beginner jumpers into the fitness community, there are questions as to what is the purpose of side swings beyond showing off. They can be a show off move, skills that don't necessarily need to be learned if you're just here for fitness jumping. But I want to persuade you to learn the side swing because I do have three reasons that we will go over in this video to how they can benefit you in your workouts. So let's get right into it. Number one reason is because it can definitely help you extend your working sets. So as you are jumping, you may find that your feet and your calves need a break. Side swings can help you keep that work set active. So you'll see there in that video that you're jumping along there with basic jump, boxer step, whatever it is. As soon as those feet start getting tired, you are going to need to slow the feet down, but you don't want to actually stop. The rope can still keep moving. You can slow the feet down, throw in some double side swings there, and then get the feet moving again, giving those feet and those calves a temporary rest, and then you can get right back to jumping. Sometimes just a couple seconds is all those feet and those calves need to extend a work set so that you can continue on with some of those longer sets of jumping. If you're trying to jump or do a five minute set of jumping and with lots of variations of footwork combos, you can also add in those side swings, slowing down the feet, and it can definitely help you get up to that five minute set and you're burning calories, moving the body the whole time, keeping that work set active. Now, tip number two. It is something that can also help keep your rest periods an active rest. So if you're doing 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest, when you get into that 30 seconds of rest, you can always throw in some double side swings just like this as you rest. So you're keeping your rest period an active rest, not letting that heart rate go down a whole lot, staying warmed up, keeping that body loose, and then when it's time to work again, you're right there ready to go. One of the things I like to do quite often are those side swings during longer rest sets to make sure that I'm staying loose and keeping that an active rest period. And number three to why I think you should learn side swings is it can be a good recovery method for jumping when you trip. So one of the most frustrating things when you're jumping is when you trip over the rope. You can see right here I just tripped. I have the rope in front of one leg, behind the other, and now I'm trying to reset, find out where I'm at, and then you do this number afterwards and you've already lost a good 10 or 15 seconds after that trip. One of the easier ways to recover for me after a trip is to side swing right back into that work set. A lot of times that can also be how I start a set after a body weight movement. If I were going down into push-ups, I might do my push-ups, come back up, side swing right into my next jump set. So it can be a good recovery or way to start your jumping so that you don't trip over that rope. Again, nothing is more frustrating than when you don't realize that rope is underneath your heels. You go to pull that rope and it pulls both handles right out from your hands and you just lost a few seconds to your work set. So there are the three reasons why I think you should learn side swings. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see a future tutorial on side swings. We have a couple different methods of side swings so if there is one that you have been trying to learn let us know and until next time more good content coming soon